to enable.org presents mathematical literacy, data handling, um, developing questions and hypotheses. We're going to focus more on hypothesis now. <clears throat> this is the handout that you have received with this week's work. So we're going to first uh, just talk about uh, the steps in data analysis and uh, uh, what is a hypothesis and different hypotheses, right? Um, when you're a statistician, statistician, try and say that a couple of times, then um, you there are different steps in your data analysis. So you're not just going to start doing statistics. You're going to follow a very specific procedure to get to your answer, right? So. Um, these are the six steps. When you research a topic, you have to follow certain steps. Step one is you have to identify a problem and write an hypothesis. So we're going to um, we're going to get you this just now. What is a hypothesis, etc. Your second step is you're going to define a population and a sample. The third, third step is you're going to set up a questionnaire and do a survey. Right, so this is week, basically week 32, the week that we're busy with now. Then, from here on, you're going to summarize the information gathered in a table. Then you're going to analyze it um, and represent it in a graph. And lastly, you're going to interpret the data and write a conclusion. So this is basically everything that we also handle in statistics and mathematical literacy. But the first part that we're going to talk about today is hypothesis. A hypothesis is the question that you ask or the statement that you make. Okay, so for example, you're going to say boys smoke more cigarettes than girls per day, per day than girls. Right, our hypothesis must be stated in such a way that it is inclusive. Now, what is inclusive? Inclusive means that people of all races, social standings, languages, genders and ages are included as well as political, social, environmental, and human rights issues. So we're going to say, when we do make our hypothesis, we're going to say, everybody is welcome, we're going to analyze the whole population. But sometimes it's not possible to have an inclusive hypothesis as you want to do research about a certain topic. For instance, those Statistics South Africa would gather information about the rates of miscarriages under black South African women. Right. So why do you, for instance, want to, to do uh, rates of miscarriages under black South African women? It can be because um, there's certain misconceptions about uh, people's uh, cultural or racial background and then you can maybe disprove it and say no there's a certain rate of miscarriages under a certain social background and not a certain racial background right so that's why you would exclude some uh, people but even if you just do um, a survey about rates of miscarriages you immediately going to exclude men for instance because um, they not uh, included in being pregnant all right okay so let's uh, quickly look at the exercise developing questions all right so you have to write a hypothesis that involves a current environmental issue cultural issue and the issue at school right so we want the hypothesis to be inclusive right so first of all uh, examples about environmental issues Hypothesis can be, um, it is better for the environment to drive to school in a car than it is to drive to school in, with a bicycle. Or basically the other way around. It's better for the environment to drive to school with a bicycle than it is to drive to school with a car. Or um, uh, um also, if, if you, for instance, want to say that lantana, which is a certain uh, plant, is killing other plants in the environment. So we're including all plants, but we're basically looking at what lantana is doing to the environment. A cultural issue can be um, 
Ba, 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 ba. Uh, oh, you, you focus on certain cultural groups. So, for instance, Kosa, Zulus, of the Afrikaner people, um, colored people, uh, uh, Indian uh, people, or Chinese people. Okay, so um, we're going to address certain cultural issues, and it can be that a certain group prefer a certain food. Uh, for instance, pop versus rice, or bread versus rice, or um, favorite drinks. Certain cultural group prefer milk to drink milk, and others uh, cultural groups prefer to drink f fizzy drinks. Or um, also the this uh, different flavors that cultural groups would like, and that will um, make it easier, basic uh, for advertisement that you're going to focus advertisement on a certain cultural group because they prefer to drink a certain flavor drink, right? And then issues at school can be about uh, school uniform. It can be about things that are sold in the uh, tuck shop, certain subjects that would like to be presented at school. So you can say um, it, uh, the girls would like to be included in the group that also take... Um, engineering graphics and they don't want to do uh, f um, hospitality studies or, or anything like that. So that would be um, the different themes and the now you have to write a hypothesis. There really is not a correct or wrong answer. You just have to remember that your hypothesis has to be inclusive and it has to be a, a question that, that you want to be asked. Thank you very much.